Hey guys, how's it going? Greek Otaku here, and today I wanted to talk about the uh, Slender Man stabbing that occurred in Wisconsin a couple of days ago. So, if you don't know about the story, these two 12 year old girls had been planning to kill their friend for months, ever since December, and they invited her, uh, their friend over to their house for a slumber party. And, uh, so they were planning on stabbing her that night so they didn't have to see her and, like, look at her in the face. But they put it off to the next day when they were walking through a park. And they, like, one of them had a knife. And the friend said, all right, let's do it. Let's go. Let's go crazy. And they just started stabbing this girl. They stabbed her uh, 19 times, actually. Uh, their reasoning behind why they stabbed this person was because they wanted to become Slenderman's uh, proxies. And I just, I think that's absolutely insane. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. Like, I don't think it even has to do with uh, video games at all. It doesn't have to do with the Slenderman video game, but I think it has to do with the uh, creepypasta storytelling ghost story. Because before Slenderman was a video game, it was a ghost story told by this guy who ran this website called Creepypasta. And uh, so after they were going to kill her, they wanted to take the body to this mansion as a sacrifice to Slenderman so they, be they could become his proxies or his uh, servants and Slenderman wouldn't kill them. One of my thoughts on it was a lot of people have been attacking video games lately for all the actions that other people do. They say video games make people violent, it causes them to do crimes, Grand Theft Auto causes people to steal cars, shoot people and steal money and whatnot. But my real thought on it, I don't think, like, they are definitely going to use this as a, another excuse to attack video games. But I don't think that video games at all are an excuse for people to do what they do. It's getting to the point now where people will just say these things like, oh, that game made them do it. Oh, they're only doing this because the video game they play is extremely violent. When, in reality, these people were insanely violent to begin with. Absolutely insane. And they were just waiting for an excuse to act upon their thoughts. They were sitting there thinking the whole time, like, I really want to kill this person. How do I do it? I don't know how to do it. Oh, Slenderman? Oh, that's a great idea. I bow down to you, Slenderman. I'm going to do what you say now. Because I'm insane. And I'm going to kill this person. And that's okay, because I'm insane. That's what it's coming to nowadays. That's what our society is coming to. And people are going to blame the video game and this may affect the video game industry it may not but i hope it doesn't because i love my video games video games are awesome and to normal humans that aren't insane video games are a way to blow off some steam if you get mad you're like oh i'm gonna go play a video game if you're bored it's a totally different world now it's an outlet it's another way of living to some people but it's not an outlet that lets them act upon what happens in the video game in real life. I don't go around driving my car crazily because I play Grand Theft Auto. I don't go around slamming into other cars like, oh yeah, this is okay, this is acceptable. No. And Watch Dogs. I'm not gonna go around and be like, let me hack your account with my phone and steal all your money. I don't know how to do that, but if I did, I wouldn't do it. So as always, make sure to leave a comment down below about what you think of this incident. Let me know what you think your opinion is on video games and if they cause violence. And make sure to stay animated and peace out.